Annotations and Measurements. To see the annotations and measurements, we're going to open an image. We will launch Annotations and Measurements from the View, Annotations and Measurements menu, or by selecting Shift F8 as a shortcut key, which opens this dialog window, which gives us access to all of our annotations and measurements. We will walk through these individually, but briefly, this is where we select tools such as arrows, X's, and lines. So, on our annotations and measurements, we have a default button that allows us to choose the colors of the annotations and measurements that we're using, as well as the size of font. This button will delete all annotations and measurements, as in this example, to delete these three. This button is our line. This button is an extended line. This is the arrow. This is the X. Freehand draw. Circle ellipsis. And rectangle or square. We can change our delete individual annotations and measurements by bringing the cursor to the measurement, clicking on the measurement. When you get the black crisscross, you can move the measurement to a new location. When you have the white tabs, you can change the size and the shape of the annotations and measurements, or you can right click on the individual measurement and delete it. I'm gonna clear my palette. We have free text entry. We have measurement. Notice when I use the measurements tool, I select from, drag to the two, release the mouse, move the measurement out of the way of the anatomy, click again to replace the measurement. As with the previous annotations and measurements that I showed you, I can come up here, I can highlight the annotation itself, again I can change the white tab to more accurately place where I have the, the measurement, or I can drag the entire measurement to a new location. I can also toggle using this button down here between centimeters, inches, and pixels as far as the value of the measurement. Centimeters, and of course, inches. And let's remove those to clear the palette. The angle measurement, starting at the point of the angle, first click, second click, and this will give us the internal or the external measurement. And the Cobb angle, used for determining the angle between two planes. Heart to lung ratio used to measure the ratio of the width of the heart to the width of the chest and to calculate the size of the heart in percentage or ratio. Notice we're still in the inches. We could re uh, toggle this 
also to millimeters or centimeters. Next we have the center line tool which will give us the center line between four points. And finally, um, the probe tool. Probe tool will let us know the X and Y coordinates of wherever our cursor is, as well as the pixel value of the pixel that is indicated by the pointer. And a center point tool that will give us the center between two points. Calibration. Our annotations and measurements give us a device to compensate for the magnification distortion that is inherent in all x-ray imaging. As per this example, I am going to measure a structure, in this case the heart. I get a measurement of 100.09 millimeters and I want to compensate for magnification of this anatomy using this marker here as a known device for its size. So I'm going to select the calibration button, place a line across the marker. For the purposes of this demonstration we're going to call that 10 millimeters. Say OK. Now I have a calibrated measurement for that structure based upon the known value of the size of this marker. Finally, I want to show you the embed button. These annotations, back that up. Finally, I want to show you the embed button. These annotations and measurements, I'll clear my palette again, are not DICOM tagged. In other words, they will not go with, these, with this image when I send it. So, Put a couple of annotations in here. And I'll select the embed tool. The embed tool will create a duplicate image with the annotations and measurements embedded into that image in grayscale that will be DICOM tagged with that image. So now I have my original image with its annotation and measurement and an icon on that image telling me this is the one with the annotations and measurements and I have a duplicate of that image with the annotations and measurements in it that can be DICOM sent.